Hello and welcome. Bill Sklodowski here with another edition of What's New Wednesday. Every Wednesday, a tip or trick that you can use with your iPhone or iPad. Um, 99 times out of 100, it's exactly the same. Sometimes a little different, but we'll tell you. And then, of course, iPhone Friday every Friday evening as well at 8 o'clock. Uh, live here on Facebook and then also on the blog and uh, also on YouTube. So this week, by the way, uh, with iPhone Friday, we're doing the iPhone A to Z thing and we've been doing a different letter every week and we're up to E and nothing's really come to mind as to what that E, iPhone E thing should be. So if you have a suggestion, feel free to drop it, uh, you know, as a comment wherever you're watching this and I'll check that out and maybe that's what we do for Friday. But today... A little bit of help with your high-tech life when it comes to using the iPhone or iPad calculator, right? So let's jump over to the phone while we're uh, thinking about it here. Now, I, I do want to say that if you have an iPad, right, the, the, the trick I'm going to show you with turning the phone, it's not, it doesn't work the same. You can change on the iPad from the regular calculator to the scientific calculator with a button. So that's the one thing we're going to change. But... For those of us with phones, okay, remember, if you use the calculator a lot, you can have a separate button or app for it on your home screen. Most people, not so much. So a lot of times I'll just tell Siri, open calculator, and there it is, okay. Uh, or, by the way, if you have it in your control center, you can swipe up, and all I'm doing is swiping, you know, a finger up from the bottom of the phone, Oop up from the bottom of the phone, there it is, on the older phones with the button, with the home button. If you have a iPhone 10 or 11, of course, that's down, oh, that's hard to show, down from the upper thing there, er, from the top, and of course, I make it, it's notifications on mine because I have the older phone. But either way, you can get to the control center and usually that calculator, there it is down at the bottom, uh, at the second from the bottom row there, it looks like a calculator, that's how you tap on that and off you go. Anyway, for me, it's usually just tell Siri open calculator. Let's uh, make this all zero. So now, now that we're here, a couple of tricks. Okay. So the first one is swipe to delete. A lot of folks will say, hey, look, there's no like, I can't clear out a button. So if I'm doing 89 times 50, 65 uh, plus uh, 55, 5, oops, I just wanted that to be times 55, not 555. I can't go back. I have to retype the whole, what do you call that? The whole expression, the whole calculation. I don't even know what, I was a journalism major, not a math major. So the trick though is you just swipe back left to right across the phone. Did you see that? So now it's just 55. Watch, if I swipe again, it just goes to five. So then I can type in the correct number. Oh, 569, that's not right. It should have been 579. Swipe, swipe, 79. Swipe to erase or delete one letter at a time. That's our first trick. So trick number two is using the scientific calculator. And to do that, your phone has to be able to do the rotate thing, right? So if yours doesn't, if it doesn't rotate when you rotate it, that's in the control center as well. And if you're back at your home button and you swipe up, all right, see that 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 uh, lock with the circle around it, right? Next to the moon there, the lock with the circle above it, or around it, I should say. That is the rotation lock for the device. So, in other words, when it's on, and it even says portrait orientation lock on at the top there, now when I'm doing something on my phone, it lets, I don't know, open up notes or something like that. When I'm doing something on my phone and I turn it, nothing happens, right? But if I turn off the rotation lock, tap on it again, it goes to the back to the black and white. When I rotate the phone now, the uh, app gives it a wider look, okay? So you just learned another thing. If you didn't know that, you're welcome. So anyway, in the calculator, now that we have that available to us, right? If I'm, if I'm in the regular calculator and I turn it sideways, well, look now I get the scientific calculator, which is all the different 
the square roots and the logarithm, the sine, cosine, stuff I have no clue what it is. No idea. Like I said, I was, I was a journalism major, not a math major. So up and down, sideways, different calculators. Now, of course, there's all the regular keys are still on this one, you know, 58 plus 65 plus 55 times 25 equals. So all of those things still work. So my basic math skills are still good, right? So, and also the swipe still works. Seven, nine, eight times five, four, oh, it should have been something else. Finger on it and just literally swipe across left to right, left to right, left to right, and it still works just the same, okay? So there you go. So that's the scientific calculator. If you use that, you probably already knew that. If you didn't, again, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, a couple of other things. Let's say you wanted to um, put a number, right? If you, if, you, if you did some math over here and now you needed to send that number to somebody, either via a text or something like that. So again, if I'm going to do 56 times 34 plus 34 times you know, equals, oh, there's a really big number. All right, if I have to send that number to somebody in an email, in a text, in a whatever, I'm gonna, do I remember that? Do I write it down? Do I whatever? No, if you just long press on it, see what it says? It shows the little copy button up at the top there. See, all I did, again, long press, and you remember that because we've talked about that a lot. Literally lay my finger on it for a couple of seconds and I'm putting it right on the number there until the copy shows up and then I can copy it. And then if I have to go and text somebody or whatever, I can just use the paste function, right? If I just come down and I type something here and I lay on it, paste, doink, there's the big number. Ah, so I can copy and paste, let's go back to calculator. I can copy and paste the numbers right out of calculator. Awesome. And by the way, one more trick with that, and that is, if you've, if you've gone off to some other app and you've done something, you're like, oh yeah, I was, in the, I was in the calculator and I had a number. If you use that same trick to get to the control center, either swipe down from the side with you iPhone 10 or 11 or up from the bottom, all right, for, for us six, seven, and eight people. If I long press the calculator icon, the app down there, long press, Look what comes up. It shows me the last result and the offer, and it offers to copy the last result right there. How cool is that? Just tap on it, goes away, and now I've remembered that number in the memory of the computer so that I can copy and paste it in somewhere else. Wow. <laughs> so many things for that simple little calculator app. Isn't that just awesome? I mean, there's always so many things. There's always, there's always something more to learn, and I'm no exemption to that. I continue to, no exception to that, excuse me, I continue to learn stuff every day about this uh, cool device and how it can help us. If you would like to learn more, clever segue, if you would like to learn more and make sure you're on our list for our weekly email, weekly email, uh, jump on over to BillSklodowski.com, over to the blog there. Here, let me put that up for you. Head on over to the blog. This is the front page that you will see. Click on the button there that says, uh, click me and make sure you are on our mailing list. Every weekend, usually Sunday afternoon, I send out an email that has the two videos from the previous week and also the handout for the iPhone Friday class that we'll do on Friday. So like I said, typically what happens is, um, you know, the Friday stuff is a little bit bigger and more involved and it's like a how to do something, tap here, do this, do that. And so what I'll do is I'll put together a handout for that and I send it out free, there's no charge, no nothing. I send it out to our entire list of folks every weekend. And then if you missed one of the videos, it also gives you a link where you can go back and watch that. So again, stop over to the website, BillSklodowski.com, sign yourself up. As always, if you have a question or uh, you know there's something that you're trying to sort out, feel free to leave that as a question or a comment wherever you are watching this, either on Facebook or YouTube or on the blog at BillSklodowski.com and we will uh, take a look at it, respond to you personally. Maybe it's just a quick thing that I give you an answer, or if it's a really good something, you know, then we'll use it as one of our videos, of course. But for now, that's going to do it. Have yourself a great rest of the week, and we'll see you Friday for iPhone Friday. Take care.